President Trump, welcome back. How are you? Hello, Greg. I'm great. Thank you very much. You know, I asked you the last time, I'm wondering if you're thinking maybe a little bit more about it. You see, the country seems to be coming apart, especially at the border. Have you given any thought, any more thought to 2024 and you? Well, they're destroying our country. No, I haven't, because it's a long time away, unfortunately. But they're destroying our country. And, you know, look, we just can't let these things continue to happen. The border, whether it's the border or energy independence. Look at what's happening with energy. Gasoline prices are going up like nobody thought would be possible. They were going down. They were at a level that they'd never seen before. And now they're going up. Uh, we're making Russia and Saudi Arabia and all the country, Middle East countries and others. And, of course, the company Burisma, you know what Burisma is. <laughs> we're making them rich and uh, we're becoming less and less energy independent. And within three or four months, we won't be energy independent. It's a very, very sad thing. And then the border, you look at that, it's uh, incredible to watch. You know, Joe Biden has not yet visited the border. Uh, he said he might get there at some point today. You saw him take that terrible tumble on Friday. I was surprised he went down not once, not twice, but three times, almost no mention of it. I know that they gave you a hard time once when you walked a little bit slowly. Were you, were you as shocked as I was, or maybe you weren't? Maybe you expected something like that to happen. I expected it. Actually, when I went down the ramp at West Point, which was like a sheet of ice with no railing, no nothing, great planning, uh, I wanted to go inch by inch because the last thing I wanted to do is take a tumble like Biden did. No, that tumble was terrible. And it was, uh, I mean, it wasn't really one, it was three. And it wasn't mentioned for the most part, wasn't mentioned in the lamestream, as we call it, lamestream media, wasn't mentioned. It's terrible. It's like the whole thing is incredible. There's no longer freedom of the press.